So Atlassian rolled out Jira action items in November of 2024, bringing a simple yet powerful feature for task management directly into Jira tickets. If you're familiar with action items in Confluence, they really aren't any different in Jira. Action items are checkboxes that can be embedded directly into rich text fields, like a description or a comment field. And there's three different ways you can add an action item into Jira, so let's take a look at those now. The first method is the one I'm pretty sure we're all most familiar with, and it's where you just click the checkbox icon above the text field, and the checkbox should appear immediately. Then you just type in your task, or you can even at mention your colleague. Method number two, you can just type in a forward slash, followed by the phrase action item. Then once you see the action item is selected in the drop down menu, just hit enter, or you can click on it. And the third and likely the least common method that people may use is to type in square brackets and hit the space bar. If you're using the bracket method, a fun little tip is if you want to create a pre-checked checkbox, put an X between the brackets before you hit the space bar. So we can see it's pretty simple to use these checkboxes, but still Jira users have raised some questions and suggestions about potential improvements. So let's go ahead and address some of those. One of the most frequently asked questions within the Atlassian community is, can Jira action items be used with Jira automation? Action items in its current form are only simple checkboxes to aid in the creation of smaller ad hoc tasks within a single Jira issue. This is handy when you want to quickly jot down a to-do list or some follow-up tasks. But how about when you're a Jira admin? You'll probably want a predefined set of action items to appear anytime an issue is opened, such as a definition of done or DOD checklist. And unfortunately, Jira automation doesn't support action items just yet. That means you'd need to manually create these checkboxes one by one for every Jira ticket, which as you can imagine, would be quite a time consuming process. So until this feature is enhanced by Atlassian, it might be time to start thinking about third party apps within the Atlassian marketplace for a comprehensive checklist solution. With a checklist app, you can automatically populate a checklist of your choice every time an issue is created or transitions from to do to in progress. These are just a few of the several automation examples you can choose from to reduce the effort and time to manually set up checklists. With Jira action items, there's no way to ensure that every item in the list is done before marking an issue as complete. This is another crucial feature difference between action items and checklists. Checklist apps, on the other hand, let you set up validators in your project settings. These ensure that an issue can only move to done once all checklist tasks are completed. Tracking action items within Jira can be cumbersome. Without a centralized view, users often have to open individual issues one by one to check their progress. Checklist apps like Didit solve this problem. Did it checklist for Jira allows you to view and track checklist tasks directly from your Jira board, making it easy to monitor progress across multiple issues at one quick glance right from your Jira board. And what's even sweeter is checklist apps like Did it go beyond just ticking off checkboxes. Have you ever found yourself asking questions like how many checklists are actually being completed? What's the average time it takes to complete a checklist? Or why weren't these certain checklist items ever checked off? Jira action items fall short when it comes to advanced tracking or accountability. Checklists, after all, are meant to be your perfect aid for audits or compliance checks. And that's exactly where apps like Didit Checklists shine. They provide real-time collaboration, allowing multiple users to work on a checklist simultaneously. They also provide instant updates and audit logs, so every action is traceable. They offer completion statistics that give you a detailed view of progress as well as bottlenecks. So to wrap things up, if you only need basic ad hoc task management within issues, Jira's action items will do the job. But if you're looking for more like automation, validation, or tracking, you'll love a Didit checklist for Jira. You can go ahead and easily find a Didit in the Atlassian marketplace and try it free for 30 days. Or we invite you to schedule a demo with our team and I put that link in the description below. I hope you found this video helpful and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.